This is an image of a small mammal called the pika. It has dense fur and is closely related to rabbits. It eats wildflowers, grasses, shrubs, mosses, and ferns. Pikas live in the mountains where it is cool enough for them to survive. They cannot survive in temperatures higher than 75 degrees Fahrenheit for up to two hours or they will die. Pikas start collecting hay after the snow melts and stop when the fall comes. They collect hay for winter, but they don't actually hibernate. They use the hay for food and bedding. Pikas can make giant hay piles that are about 65 pounds. Pikas live in rock slides where they can camouflage into the rocks. You have to scan the rocks looking for a movement. When you see movement, you look at the spot and just look, you will see a pika. As you can see, the pika's call kind of sounds like a rodent slash bird sound. It can be a warning or a call of a male to a female. Pikas have two different types of scat. There is fecal and cecal pellets. Fecal pellets are round like peppercorn and cecal pellets are really digestive. Pikas live in rock slides where most of their predators cannot get them. The only predators that can get into the rocks and chase the pikas are snakes and weasels. Pikas are good at running along the rocks of their habitat, so sometimes they can easily escape. I've learned a lot of really interesting things since studying pikas. I think maybe the most interesting thing has been with my experience with pikas living near sea level in the Columbia River Gorge in Oregon. Um, what I'm finding is that the, the, the rock slides are covered in a really thick layer of moss, and the pikas are able to eat the moss, which means that they don't have to travel outside of the rock slides to eat. Um, and they also, the moss helps keep the rock slides nice and cold, um, colder than we would expect based on the low elevation. So I think the interesting take-home message from that is that pikas may be a little bit more adaptable in terms of their strict habitat requirements than we give them credit for, um, particularly with respect to what they eat and um, how they forage. Um, pikas are small mammals. They're closely related to rabbits. Um, they're about the size of a hamster, but they look a little bit more like a guinea pig, about this big. Um, they make a really cute little noise. Pikas tend to live in rock slides. Um, we call them talus, which is rock slides in boulder fields. Um, they tend to be at high elevations. Um, around Salt Lake City, we don't usually find them below about 9,000 feet in elevation, but in some parts of uh, their range, they live as low as sea level, like in Oregon and in Alaska. Pikas, as scientists believe, are becoming extinct because of global warming. We are trying to convince the government to save these animals and put them on the endangered species list because if we don't act now, these adorable animals will cease to exist.